Previously on Delos, the crew gets lost trying to find the village of Wasai, finds a pretty sweet river shortcut, and Brady gets really sick. With the crew feeling better, we decided to get on the road again and head toward the Raja Ampat Dive Lodge, which was just a day's sail away. So we were off, and motoring slowly through the maze of reefs and islands. And everything was really sweet, until... So what's happening, Brian? Uh, well, we were motoring out of this nice little passage here, and noticed that the temperature on the main got really high all of a sudden. Uh, so we had to shut it down. And luckily we're not in any shallow spots, but we have no wind. We're kind of drifting with the little bit of current that we have. And there's like, I don't know, two or three knots of wind. We're going one knot. Jeez. Okay. I guess. You come like 20 degrees to port. 20 to port? Yeah. Now we have some wind, but we have another problem. Our GPS just stopped working. And we're right here uh, in the middle of all these reefs, so it's not like a great spot for it to stop working. But so, where do you think we're going? We're, we just passed this island, Anderborai, I think you call it. So, we're somewhere over here, best I can tell. But we're just going to stay between the reefs. You can see them pretty good in the light. We've got good light today, so it's good to be out here in the day. It seems problems always come in pairs while cruising. So we were back to navigating old school, which meant dead reckoning our position with sightings on islands and reefs. Even with the current against us, we still made it to the Raja Ampat dive lodge just before sundown and grabbed one of their moorings. We even got our GPS problem sorted out. When we left the last anchorage, a line was coiled up on the rail, covering our antenna and killing the signal. Luckily it was a super easy fix. High spirits. Hello, we're at lodge. I know. Oh yeah, other people. I'm glad to eat and have somebody bring us food. Be civilized. Yeah. Sounds really good. I don't remember when the last time is we had a dinner off the boat. <laughs> Y'all looking mighty fancy this evening. We actually don't. It's just like normal clothes. Just we're wearing clothes for once. <laughs> What's going on? So, oh, trying, Can we, trying we, to get dressed up to go to the Raja Ampat Dive Resort. See, but it turns out everything's covered in stains and wrinkled and smells a bit like mold. Yeah, look at this one. I don't know where that came from. I think it's a... <laughs> it looks like a ringworm. A mirror ringworm living on my shirt. 
with mold in a nice community. You really notice. And here, this is, ring this is a real ringworm. <laughs> it's one of the dirty latencies. So with roadies in hand and smelling like a band of gypsy pirates, we descended on the Raja Ampat dive lodge with the intention of stuffing ourselves silly at a fancy night out. So we just arrived at the Raja Ampat dive lodge and we're pretty excited, we're all dressed up and we're gonna have a lovely dinner. Wait, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We were a little worried that security would kick us out. Sometimes they don't like cruising boats in these places. But after a few smiles and handshakes, we were in. Money. It's great being on a boat. It's not moving. Yeah, they get to relax on these things all day. Sit at a nice resort. Not worry about their home dragging away in the night. But they also have to spend a lot of money. How much are you doing right now? Wow, this is just a, a freaking delicious seafood chowder. So I've just gotten out of my second serving here and uh, I'm gonna go set it on the table so that I can enjoy it with the rest of our meals. I don't even know what else we have here. The last thing you want at your nice resort is a crew of hungry sailors rolling in to destroy your buffet. What do you think, Buttercup? Beautiful. And the good life. Look at that. Look at that. Um, <laughs> so good. So good. We just came back from the feed table. <laughs> Karen, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit crazy that's going on here. Everybody's really excited to see you play. So. <laughs> I'm trying to sit up the gear right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Bremen? Over there. Drinking some whiskey with our old mates over there. Look at this guy. Woohoo! This one goes out to everybody here tonight. And thanks for sitting at this awesome microphone. What drink for me is from Lady I'm not sure what it is about Dallas Moonshine and John Denver, but every time we hung out with locals and brought out the shine, they all busted out this one song they knew in English. 
It must be a rite of passage for Indonesian dudes living on remote islands or something. about to go see, or hopefully see, <laughs> the elusive bird of paradise. Early. We were up bright and early to check out the red bird of paradise. This involved a 30 minute dinghy ride to another island, followed by a hike through the jungle in the pre-dawn light. The villagers had a pretty sweet little setup in the jungle though, and had even built a blind in the trees to get a little closer to the action. Suddenly, a male emerged from the jungle right in front of us and began his crazy little dance. It reminded me sort of like that awkward guy, maybe after a few too many drinks, out on the dance floor strutting his stuff for any females in the house. Pretty cool, huh? Finally, he gets some interest, and is probably totally stoked, only to be blocked by some other jerk that just can't let the poor guy win. Sorry, bro. Better luck next time. to find those birds. Like Alfred Wallace came here. Yeah, it was really steps. special. Yeah. Is there anything is the sun was in the house. It was a bit, a bit gray. So you couldn't really see the beautiful colors, but it was still pretty good and stuff, so it was really nice. And then we see the dog of paradise. Little ones. We weren't here for the dogs, birds, or even the awesome buffet. For us, it was all about the diving. Good morning. <gasps> it's time to go diving. Are you excited? Diving in Rajan Pot. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning, Brady. Hey, good morning. Are you ready to go? You ready to go diving? Yeah, I was just about to go check out the pass, see what the current's doing. Yeah, you were. In between dreams, huh? Mm. So, Cape Cree. Really, really good dive site, apparently. We haven't done it yet, but Brian and Karen are down right now. There's a massive current that comes in when the tide falls from east to west, and it cuts between the island just behind us here and it's supposed to be a really really sweet drift dive lots of big pelagic fish so we're gonna pick up ryan karen in a second yeah we have to uh float around because there's no place to anchor around here so luckily we have enough people yasha's on board right now Keeping the boat safe while well, we are the diving team, the bubble walkers. Hey guys! Oh man! How is it 
<laughs> What's up? How was this? How was this? Oh, Real good. Good work. Oh. Tell was us it? about it. Oh man, there's like, we went down and there was a massive school of barracuda. There's like batfish everywhere, and sweet lips, and trevallis hunting. It's like, and so, it's like a massive aquarium. Yeah. So much fish inside. Crazy. Wow. The coral's amazing. Oh man, that was f***ing, that was the best dive I've yeah. ever done. It's the biggest it fish I've cool. ever seen underwater. <laughs> Massive schools of tuna, like huge oh, barracuda, like all just Man, that point, around. that point down there is crazy. We saw two turtles! Two turtles. What? <laughs> They're massive. F***ing amazing. And a shark. No. Yeah, mate. <laughs> we love this spot so much, we just drifted around here all day, just filling tanks right in the dinghy and diving over and over again. It was awesome. But with our time in Raja Ampat coming to an end, we decided to head further west in search of more sweet spots. Up next, our engine quits again and we're forced to tow Delos with Maggie. We end up at a really sweet private beach. And actually see another boat.
has been pick me, pick me, pick the me. Lord for the week. It was a great week. I didn't cook. I didn't clean. I had some drinks made for me. What's your final wish? Swedish massage. I want a full-on Swedish massage <laughs> with a happy ending. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pick them, blueprints. I cannot be included. <laughs> Uh, we were motoring out of this nice little passage here and noticed that the temperature on the main got really high all of a sudden. Uh, so we had to shut it down and luckily we're not in any shallow spots but we have no wind. We're kind of drifting with the little bit of current that we have and there's like, I don't know, two or three knots of wind. We were going one knot, which is okay, I guess. Become like... It's horrible. I'm yeah. feeling way better. That is awesome. Yeah. Ready for some more diving? Yeah, man. <laughs> Sweet. So we were off and motoring slowly through the maze of reefs and islands. And everything was really sweet until. So, what's happening, Brian? On talks represent Solomon Island people say. We people sell originally from my homeland. Like my old man said, there's nothing impossible. So, we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical. Straight from the crew, out to the blue. We represent the voices of my ancestors calling. And I was getting more semiculture is falling. Now we have a step up for the past 20 scholars. Previously on Delos, the crew gets lost trying to find the village of Wasai, finds a pretty sweet river shortcut, and Brady gets really sick. With the crew feeling better, we decided to get on the road again and head toward the Raja Ampat Dive Lodge, which was just a day's sail away.